Welcome to this Time Doctor tutorial. If you're looking to stay on top of your time management and boost your productivity, you've come to the right place. In this tutorial, we'll walk you through how to track your time effectively and get the most out of Time Doctor's powerful features. By the end of this tutorial, you'll be using Time Doctor like a pro. So let's dive in. First, go to timedoctor.com and create your account. To start, please click try it free. Now here's the sign up page. So we're going to start the 14 day trial. You can sign up with Google or you can just type in your name, business email, company size, and then create a password. So I'm just going to enter these details. All right, now that you've created your account, Time Doctor will ask you, what's your top challenge? This is where you can choose your area of focus. For this tutorial, let's go with time tracking and attendance because that's exactly what we're focusing on today. This will help you track your working hours, monitor attendance, and make sure you're staying on top of your time throughout the day. So let's go ahead and choose time tracking and attendance. Next, Time Doctor will ask who owns the computers that your team works on. This is an important step because it determines how Time Doctor will track time across devices. For this tutorial, let's go ahead and choose team members. This means your team members work from their own computers. This option makes it super easy for remote teams or those who have flexible working setups. Now that you're in, let's take a quick look at the main dashboard so you know where everything is. On the top of the page, you see several sections. First, you can see dashboard. Dashboard. This is your home page where you can track time at a glance. Check on your team's progress and see how things are going. The next you've got reports. Here's where you can dive deeper into your team's time and productivity data. You see things like activity summary, attendance, hours tracked, project and tasks, timeline and the rest. Next you've got screencast. This feature allows you to capture screenshots of your team's work which can help with transparency and monitoring. Next, edit time. This is where you can adjust or add manual time entries if needed. Then you've got settings that lets you adjust preferences and customize your Time Doctor account and payroll. If you're using Time Doctor for payroll, this section will let you manage payments and work hours for your team. Yeah, so this is what the payroll section looks like. Next, you've got invite. Now, this is where you can invite new team members to join your account. And then we've got download. Now, this is where you get access to the app. So we're going to have to download the app for a better experience. Here, there's an instruction. Ensure that you don't rename the file before installing it. It won't install properly if you rename it. So just bear that in mind. All right, so while that's being downloaded, let's go back to the dashboard. On the main dashboard, you see the overview section, which provides important information like time track. This shows you the total time worked by you and your team. It's a quick way to see how much time has been spent overall. Next, you've got manual time. If you or your team need to add time manually, it will show up here. Next, you've got mobile time. If you're using Time Doctor's mobile app to track time, this will show the time tracked on mobile devices. Next, unproductive web. This will show you the time spent on websites that are considered unproductive, like social media or shopping sites. You can customize which websites are marked as unproductive in the settings. And active users shows who is actively tracking time on your team. You'll also see reports like top projects, managed projects, trends, productivity percentages, top users, and all of the rest. Now that the app's been downloaded, we're going to go ahead and install it. Now you can either install it just for you or for all users. Let's go with just for you. Okay, install now. Great, now the app's been installed. So let's carry on. So you're just going to sign in with the email you registered with. I'll just enter the details now. Now, in addition to the app, you can also install the Time Doctor browser extension to make tracking even easier while you're working online. So here's an option to install it. Let's do it now and search for extensions. To Add the extension you come here and then look for extensions so you extensions here then you go to visit chrome web store yeah so you can just simply type in time doctor to get the extension okay so here it is now it's being downloaded great so now it's been added let's carry on so this is what the time doctor app looks like the app is super efficient because it tracks your time automatically. That means you don't have to manually start and stop timers every time you switch tasks. The app works in the background and tracks your time seamlessly, ensuring that every minute counts. This is especially useful if you're juggling multiple tasks or projects. Now let's add your first employee so they can start tracking time. To add a new user, just click add users on the left sidebar right here. Then you enter the details like the email. So you can either invite by email or you can add 
add a CSV file. You can just upload a CSV file here. Let's invite by email. So here's the email for our first user or employee. Okay, so now you can adjust the settings here. So you've got the access level, regular user, manager, admin, client. So you can change the settings here or it depends on what position he or she has in your organization. So regular user is perfect if the person is just here to track time and focus on their work. Then for manager, you can choose this if the person is responsible for a team and needs access to view reports or manage users under them. So an admin has full access. They can manage settings, users, billing, you name it. Then down here, you've got client. You can use this if you're working with a client and want to give them limited access to view progress without editing anything. For this tutorial, I'll just go ahead with regular user. Next, we've got groups. So groups are really helpful when you're managing a big team. You can organize employees into groups like marketing sales or support. So it's easier to assign tasks and monitor performance. Then we've got projects they can track. This just means you can choose which specific projects this user will be able to track track time on. It helps avoid confusion and keeps things neat. Then down here you've got additional settings like screenshots. You can set how often you want the app to take screenshots of the employer's screen while they're working. Say three, nine, 15, 30 minutes. This feature is super helpful if you need to monitor productivity or ensure work is being done during tracked hours. We've got three options here. We've got no, yes, approval needed. For no, this means they can't make changes to their track time at all. For yes, they can freely adjust or add time entries. Then for approval needed, they can request to edit time, but you'll have to approve it. So these are the basic settings for your employees or adding a user. So let's click send invites. So before we click send invites, let's just adjust the screenshots to three minutes. Once your team members are set up, you can assign them to specific projects and tasks. For example, if you're working on different client projects, you can create a project for each and assign tasks under those projects. To create a project, just go to the Manage Projects section. You'll enter the project name, select who it's for and assign tasks under it. So just go to Manage Projects and then you can see an option here to add projects. So just click on it. Let's say this project is for a website redesign. So let's name it Website Redesign. Just gonna enter the name here. Now, who has access to this project? Everyone in the company. Then we've got the second option is specific groups. Then down here, we've got specific people. This gives you the most control. Maybe this project is just for two freelancers or a small task force. You can pick exactly who should see it. All right, great. So we just saved our first project. So this is a here, Website Redesign. Now that we've got our project set up, up, the next thing we want to do is add tasks. To do this, you go to project, the project we just created, then you can add a task. So click add task and you can name it whatever. So I'm just going to name this one homepage wireframe. I'm just going to save it. Yeah, so that's how you add a project, a user and a task. So you can see that the project we just created has reflected here. So to start tracking time, I'm just going to come here and click on this. All right, so now it's tracking time. While the timer is running, Running, time Doctor will quietly do its thing in the background, tracking your time, taking screenshots if enabled, and logging what apps and websites you use. You don't have to keep the app open, just let it run. When you're done, if you want to take a break, simply click stop and that's it. Now let's talk about reports, because what's the point of tracking time if you can't learn from how you spent it? At the top here, you can see reports. You can see activity summary, attendance, hours tracked, projects and tasks, timeline, and the rest. Then we've got hours tracked. This is pretty straightforward. This shows the total hours you or your team tracked over any period you select. Then projects and tasks report. I really love this one because it shows exactly how much time it was spent on each project or task. So if you're managing multiple clients or assignments, you'll be able to break down your hours easily. Then for web and app usage, this is perfect for understanding where your time goes online. It shows which websites and apps were used during work sessions and whether they were marked as productive or unproductive. And that's a quick tour of Time Doctor's most essential features. With your account set up, your team members added and projects organized, you're ready to start tracking time like a pro. I hope you found this useful. Thank you for watching.